Hey there, it's Sue over at Ava's Bridal Couture in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. And today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to store your wedding dress. If you live in a small house or an apartment and you're gonna be storing your wedding dress in your place, and maybe your fiance lives with you and you don't want it to get dirty, you don't want it to get seen, and you wanna know how to tuck it away, I'm gonna show you how to take care of that today. Let's get right into it. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll give you a video every single Wednesday. This is the perfect channel for brides, bridesmaids, mother of the brides, everything that has to do with the dress, alterations, bridesmaids, accessories, and tips for shopping and planning. So the first tip is pretty simple and you might have already tried this, but you're gonna ask a friend or family member if they can store it for you. That way you don't have to worry about it getting seen under the bed or in the closet. You can just ask them if they live close by, it's really helpful because then you can still do your alteration fittings and do anything that you need to very conveniently. You can go pick it up from their house or maybe there's somebody that would come to those fittings with you. That would be really convenient. Let's say your mom or a sister or a friend lives close by and they would attend your fittings anyway. Just ask them if they'll store it for you and that way you don't have to worry about anything. But sometimes that's not an option. I've heard many of you say, well, they have pets or they smoke or they don't live close by. I just don't have that option. Well, now we're going to go over what would work really great for your home. So this is a breathable garment bag. This is so much better for your dress than plastic because it's not going to oxidize your dress and turn it um, yellow. And we do sell these on our website. So if you don't already have a breathable bridal bag, go ahead and purchase one from our website and I'll link it in the description box for you below. So the first thing you're going to do is put your dress on the ribbon loop hanger here. And the reason why that's going to be important is going to take the weight off of the bottom of the bag and it's going to distribute a lot easier. And then this dress has a delicate illusion. So I'm using a quality hanger, which you can also purchase from our website as well. And this illusion right here is the most delicate part of this dress. It's so vulnerable and we don't want to stretch it out. So these ribbons, we want to wrap those around twice so that these carry the weight and this does not. So just keep that in mind whenever you're putting your dress up. You can zip it, button it all the way, or just do the top. Just whatever doesn't feel tight on it, just make sure it feels nice and loose and comfortable on the hanger and it won't stretch out your fabrics. This is a good time for me to give you some tips with the garment bag. So when you purchase a breathable garment bag, you're gonna really watch out for the teeth on the zipper. You can easily put a hole in your fabric, whether you have lace or tulle. Not so much an issue if you have satin or mikado. But go ahead and comment below and tell me what kind of fabric you have on your wedding dress. So I just give her a hug like this and I gently put her into the bag. Don't be afraid of it. It's, you're not gonna hurt it. Just go slow and you won't mess it up. Okay, now I'm gonna put my hand behind the zipper to go fast like this, or if that's awkward, you can always just put your hand behind it and go slow like this too. Now that you have it in the breathable bag, you're going to notice even if your ball gown was twice this big, and I'm using a ball gown in this example because a bride recently um, commented in one of our YouTube videos. So I do read your comments. I appreciate them so much. And I'm making this video with a ball gown um, in inspiration of her comment. So this is a ball gown, but yours might be a lot fuller, but you're going to notice when you put it in the bag, it does get a lot smaller. So now we're going to do the scary part. The next part, you're going to want to make sure you either have like a cocktail or like, you know, an inhaler to, this might take your breath away, but don't be afraid of it. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. Okay. Next we're going to fold the bag and get all the air out. And I've had lots of comments on this, so I know that this might be scary, but I'm going to get you comfortable with it and we're going to practice it. So the first thing I like to do is tuck the hanger down. That way it's just in a position. And then I want to try to get this into thirds. If your ball gown is super big, you might be able to get into, into two. So let's try thirds first. We're going to go one, two, and three. Now, if it's still massive, the next thing you can do is actually sit on it. And this might scare you even more, but that's okay. Just try it. You've got that hanger tucked in and my hanger is not plastic. So I'm not worried about breaking my hanger, but that's something to consider as well. But I've got all the air that has come out of this. And now, especially if you had to fight with it to get the air out, you might want to consider getting a two pieces of like grosgrain ribbon, just a really long piece, wrap it around and just tie a bow. That way it stays nice and compact for you. You can do two, one, just something to make it stay. 
and that's it. Look how compact this is. Now you can store this under your bed. You can even put a pillowcase over it and make it kind of incognito because if you saw this with a linen over it or wrap it up in a sheet, you can do it that way. Put it under your bed or store it above um, an overhead in your closet. This is also a great way for traveling brides. Like if you're taking a flight to some place, you can put this in your suitcase. You can also put it above the storage bin, the upper cabin. I'm not sure what the regulations are these days. It's been a while since I've flown with a wedding dress, but I have seen a lot of rides in the airport. So check your regulations just so you don't get stumped by that on the travel day, but you can always put in a suitcase. Um, it's also great for it being in a car. You can get this in a car so much easier on top of all your stuff instead of having to worry about it being below. And I think it's a lot easier to have it out in the open folded like this than in putting it into a suitcase or a box because it does wrinkle a little bit less. But let's be real, it's gonna be wrinkled and you're gonna have to steam it. So either way, don't overthink that. You're gonna have to steam it no matter what. Okay, well tell me in the comments if this video is helpful. I love reading your comments, but most of all, give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and go ahead and check the links in the descriptions. Thank you for supporting our small business. We love you guys. We'll see you soon. Happy New Year!